over here at Walmart looking at the Blu-rays. A lot of $10 ones. They have Underworld Blood Wars, one without the slip, and three with. I haven't seen any of those movies yet though, so I'm in no rush to pick that up. I do want to check out Inferno, so I'll pick that up eventually. I did rewatch Creed the other day, and it's still just as good as it was when I first saw it in theaters. Really looking forward to the second one. Pretty cool how it's going to be about Adonis Creed versus Ivan Drago's son. That should be a fun movie. Unforgettable. Still have to watch it. Why him? Bunch of copies of the subcover. It's actually a pretty enjoyable movie. Passengers is very mediocre though. That movie disappointed me. Deepwater Horizon is fantastic though. Huntsman Winter's War, not a fan. They have some pretty cool X-Men slips though. Apocalypse, Days of Future Past, and First Class. And Daddy's Home, about to get the second one today. Made a video when I got the first one, but it was so cringy, I had to delete it. Here's that new Deadpool slip cover. That is really, really cool. If I didn't already have the movie, I would definitely pick that up. And they don't have that new Logan slip. They just have it without a slip. Such a great movie though, my second favorite of last year. I hear crazy things about Mother, but I don't want to fly and buy it just because I'm afraid I might hate it. So, just like Suburbicon and The Dark Tower, it's gonna be a library run so. Atomic Blind. Last month I got this for $13.88 without the slipcover here. Now it's $14.96 with it. Not a humongous slipcover fan or anything, but would have been pretty cool if I got it with it, but yep. It is what it is. That girls trip is pretty funny. And I actually like the house too, although it got a lot of bad reviews, but I enjoyed it for what it was. Same with Baywatch and Fate of the Furious. Captain Underpants is good. Boss Baby, I have yet to watch it, but I still don't look forward to it. One of the worst comedies of the decade right here. Still need to get rid of my copy of it. One of the worst blind buys I've ever made too. Another bad 2016 comedy. They actually do have the new Logan slipcover. I have the original release at home. Well, if I didn't already own it, just like Deadpool, I would definitely get this right now. Eventually. This Logan slipcover is just so tempting. I already grabbed Daddy's Home too, but I forgot to film that, but yeah, I just might have to do this. I'm thinking about it so much right now. So from Walmart, I picked up Daddy's Home 2, the Blu-ray DVD and digital version. The 4K one was seven bucks more and the double pack was nine bucks more. I've got this for $19.96, which is the cheapest price you can find this movie for right now. Which also includes a bonus digital copy of Daddy's Home. It's probably like Zoolander 2 where they had the code for the first movie, but it only works on ParamountMovies.com or something like that, not Voodoo or anything. So that's probably the case with this one, but we're about to find out here in a minute. If you saw the cringe part eight, you know, I saw this movie with my friend Jared. And this was a really fun one. I definitely enjoyed this one. Even more than the first one. I liked how John Cena was in this one more than he was in the first. John Lithgow and Mel Gibson were great additions. And this one definitely gets you in the Christmas spirit. And that ending, if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That was really, really funny. So for special features, you get deleted, extended, and alternate scenes, making a sequel, co-dads, Will and Mark, the new dads in town, Mel and John, gag reel, and more. Here's the Blu-ray case. Looks exactly the same as the slipcover. Although the back just has less screenshots and the screenshots that they have from the back of the slipcover onto the case are just shrunken down. 
But other than that, it's exactly the same. Alright, so the shrink wrap is taken off. There's the blue Blu-ray disc. Feature film and special features. Here's the digital copy for the first movie, which I was right, just like Zoom Under 2, they have the code for the first one, but it only works on ParamountMovies.com, so I don't really do this a whole lot, but whoever wants the code, first come, first serve. But the digital copy to this movie, I'm going to redeem for myself. And here's the DVD, which is on a plain gray disc, and it's the feature film only. And the other Blu-ray I picked up was Logan, the new slipcover edition. I do like this more than the original slipcover release. Like I said when I was talking about Atomic Blonde, I'm not a humongous slipcover fan or anything. But when the slipcover is different than the actual case, it makes it all worth it. And there's a really cool picture of X-23 and Logan on the front. It's a nice shiny slipcover. The original slipcover is shiny too, but that was more of a matte finish. This one's nice and glossy. And this is the only one they had that didn't have that Walmart sticker on the top. The side, which matches up my slipcover of the Wolverine. The other side's the same. And there's the back. As you might know, when the Blu-ray first came out, I did a black and white vlog, and I mainly did that video because when I showed both Logan and Get Out, the color version, the lighting was extremely off, and it looked a lot better in black and white, and it fit the tone because Logan just came out on Blu-ray at the time, and this comes with the theatrical and noir versions, making Logan deleted scenes with commentary, and then the movie with commentary. The Blu-ray is still the same Blu-ray DVD and digital combo pack that came out last year. Here's the theatrical version Blu-ray, which looks the same as the front cover. The noir version, which also has pretty cool disc art. There's my ticket stub from when I saw the movie. And there's the DVD. Another cool shot of X-23 and Logan himself. There's a digital copy which I already used. And it also has this get free 1000 credits thing for Regal Clown... Regal Clown Club. Crazy. I meant Regal Crown Club. See if I can get all of these things back in with one hand. So that's it for this Blu-ray trip. If you've seen either of the movies I picked up, let me know what you think of them in the comment section below. I know not a lot of people like Daddy's Home too, but I did. But regardless, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That is it for this video. See you in the next one. Well, never mind. They actually do have the new Logan slip cover. That is pretty cool. I Oh. Oh, no, I'm just looking. <laughs>